Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Absolute Biopharma. If you are visiting for the first time to my channel, then here is what you can expect on this channel. What is biopharma industry? How it works? How to crack the job interview? What are the exams conducted by various bodies and a lot more? In short, what one must know to work for this industry? You'll find everything on this channel. In my last video, I have given a brief introduction about what are biopharmaceuticals or biologic drug. To check out the video, you can click on the i button and can have a look. Today, I am here to discuss with you what is bioprocess engineering. In this video, I will cover what is bioprocess engineering, how it works, its applications and products, biopharma market in India and the revenue generated by this industry and finally I would like to share with you guys the career opportunities which are existing in 2020. So do watch the video till the end. Let's start with bio is bioprocess engineering. If we break the term bioprocess engineering then it will be defined as biology and uh, engineering devices that will give you bioprocess engineering. In simple terms, it is an interdisciplinary science which combines the discipline of biology and engineering. It deals with the design and development of equipment and processes for manufacturing of products such as agriculture, food, feed, pharmaceuticals, nutraceuticals, chemicals and polymers, even paper and pulp industry from the biological materials and treatment of wastewater. Let's see why there is a need of biological or bioprocess engineering. First of all, it plays a very important role in improving the health care. Then it plays a role in meeting the growing demand of the population in sense of food, essential services and medicine. Then providing employment in various sectors and to produce highly efficient process and products. Finally, to promote the research and development. So these were some of the uh, needs why bioprocess engineering is required. Now let's see the journey of a product that involves bioprocessing. To make it further easy to understand here I am taking an example of insulin. So let us understand what is human insulin, where it is located, what is the function and if, if there is an absence of human insulin then what condition arises and how bioprocess engineering will help to invade that problem. So human insulin is a human hormone which is produced by a gland called pancreas located just below the stomach. The cells that produces insulin in the pancreas are called islets of Langerhans. The function of insulin hormone is to regulate blood sugar level in our body. In simple words, it acts as a switch through which the sugar or in technical terms glucose molecule enters into the cell and utilizes it to provide energy to the cell to perform its essential activities. If you see in the figure, there is an insulin receptor and a glucose channel and in above if you see the yellow color one, it is an insulin molecule and in the right side you can see the glucose molecule. So in the presence of insulin, it will act as a key to unlock the glucose channel. If you see in the figure, when the insulin molecule comes and binds to the insulin receptor, then only the glucose molecule is allowed to enter in the cell. That means then only the channel will open and glucose will enter into the cell. If there is any fault in the receptor or the insulin molecule, the cell fails to regulate the blood glucose level and a condition arises called diabetes. The figure you can clearly observe in the center is the normal blood sugar while in the left side the blood sugar level is low that is the amount of glucose molecule are less and in the right side the sugar level is high that is the amount of glucose molecule are high in the blood. In both the conditions there is some fault in the insulin or the glucose channel. To overcome this condition engineered or the recombinant insulin is manufactured. To get a clear picture of the process of manufacturing human insulin, I have segregated the process into different steps. Let's see what are those steps. First is genetic manipulation 
then study of growth characteristics and insulin production upstream processing downstream processing formulation fill and finish let's see each step in detail first is genetic manipulation let us understand it by the figure in this step a bacterial genome is engineered with a human dna to produce a recombinant dna which is again reintroduced into the bacterial cell in the bacterial cell the engineered bacterial dna multiplies and produces the insulin next is study of growth characteristics and insulin production in this step basically we will check whether our engineered bacteria has that insulin gene and is producing insulin or not so in this step various studies are being performed to check whether the engineered bacteria contains the insulin gene or not in this step various studies are being performed to check whether the engineered bacteria contains the insulin gene or not and further the bacteria is capable of multiplying and producing the insulin or not this is done by a process called screening and checking the expression now comes the upstream processing if everything goes as per the procedure then the step called upstream processing comes where the engineered bacteria is allowed to multiply and produce the desired protein that here we are referring to insulin so insulin production in large scale in a large steel vessels called bioreactors next comes the downstream processing once the protein is produced here that is insulin the process moves to the next level that is downstream processing in this step the desired protein is purified by various chromatographic techniques another step is formulation in this stage our protein of interest that is in crude form is formulated in the chemicals to get the final product in fill and finish which is the last and the final step here the formulated insulin or the product is packed in the vials properly labeled and ready to get marketed and delivered to the patients insulin is one of the examples of the bioprocess product there are a wide range of products and various industries where this application of bioprocess is being used let's see what are all those other applications first is food and beverages in this category it includes the dairy products like cheese yogurt paneer then alcoholic beverages like beer wine distilled spirits plant products like soy sauce tofu food supplements like cookies candies protein powders and vitamins now comes the biofuel in bioprocess industry has an application in the production of biofuel like ethanol biodiesel biogas now comes the environmental applications in the environmental applications the bio industry plays a very important role in saving our environment as it has applications in wastewater management solid waste management and soil bioremediation another sector that the bioprocess industry supports is the production or the manufacturing of enzymes enzymes contribute majorly in health sector food industry laundry in making detergents and other cleaning agents textile industry paper and pulp industry another category which the bioprocess industry supports is the production of antibiotics and other healthcare products which include antibiotics steroids vaccines gene therapy vectors therapeutic proteins insulin another category is manufacturing of chemicals which include amino acids citric acids acetic acid lactic acid polymers so these all are the applications that the bioprocess industry has let's discover the growth of our biopharma industry by this you will get a clear vision on the growth aspect of this industry if you see the market size of the biotech industry it is growing at a faster pace in comparison with the previous year the indian biotech industry witnessed growth of about 57.1% in the financial year of 2016 So fast paced growth is likely to continue the industry is driven by a range of factors such as growing demand intensive r&d activities and 
Strong Government Initiatives Indian biotech industry comprises of around 800 companies in around in order to achieve the market size of US dollar 100 billion by 2025 the industry has requested the government bodies to invest US 5 million dollar to initiate research activities and development infrastructure as well as human capital clinical capabilities are developing fast and the country is becoming a very popular destination for clinical trials, contract research, and manufacturing activities. If you see the market breakup by revenue, 64% of the market is accounted for biopharma segment. That means the largest revenue generating portion. Other markets are 18% with bioservices, 14% agriculture. By, by 2020, India has become among the top three players in the pharma market by incremental growth and sixth largest market globally in absolute size. So these are some of the figures which will make you aware of the existence and the continuously growing biopharma sector. Let me share some of the career opportunities in this sector that is some of the basic qualifications that are required to enter the companies or the qualifications that generally companies ask. I have referred both bachelor's and master's degree. They are BSc Pharma, MSc Pharma, BSc Life Sciences, MSc Life Sciences, BSc Chemistry, MSc Chemistry. It will include both synthetic and organic chemistry, BSc and MSc Botanology, MSc BSc Microbiology, BTech Biotechnology, MTech Biotechnology, MSc Biotechnology. MSc Agricultural Science, MSc Microbiological Biotechnology, MSc Molecular Biology, MSc Biotech, MSc Biochemistry. So these are some of the courses that are generally preferred by the industry. As science is interdisciplinary, other fields also contribute to the industry like Electrical Engineering, Civil Engineer, Mechanical Engineer, Doctorate, Environmental and the list goes on. I hope after watching this video now you have an idea about bioprocess engineering, how a biopharmaceutical product is designed and manufactured, various applications of biotechnology, various applications of bioprocess engineering, growth of the industry and career scope related to this industry. In my next video, I am going to introduce you to various branches or you can say various departments in the biotech industry which one should know or one should be aware of if they want to continue their career in this industry. So if you like the content, do hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to make more videos. If you have a topic in your mind and want me to discuss on this platform, please do write in the comment section. In the description below, I have provided the link from where I have referred the content and you can click on the link and check out for the full content. Thank you and have a great day.